that hole is 330 seconds in diameter. And I hope that we have a tungsten in here that's 330 seconds. And this is 330 seconds in diameter. So this will slide through here. This will slide through here. Why okay. are you choosing that size? Is it? That's just comfortable to weld with. It's okay. comfortable to but teach. But these all work? They all work. Like for this actual torch? Okay. Yeah. So if I use a little tiny piece, then I heat up a more a little tiny area. Okay. Bigger piece, I can heat up more area. Right? So and then they even have heat and it's even bigger. Right? Okay. So thick metal, thinner metal, and thinner metal. Okay. So fenders. Perfect. Perfect. Motorcycle frame, no problem. Eighth inch, no problem. All right, all right. Don't worry about it. I'll get it. All right. All right. See that little slot in there? No. And that will clamp down when I, when I pinch on it. And then this has got a tapered end on it. So when I push on this guy, it's going to squeeze that little slot together. And that's what's going to hold this in there. How does it push on the back? This back end cap goes in and it screws down and it pushes on that guy and then it keeps this removed. Make sense? Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the way we do it, put your collar holder in, this is your gas cup. Gas, when I push the pedal, gas comes through the lead, out the holes, and it's got to be directed over the weld shield the weld. In order to do that, we use the gas pump. So why do we use the gas? It, it uh, doesn't contaminate the work. It, right. That stops it from contaminating. And so if it, that's pretty close to right. Okay, so when you allow oxygen to get into the weld, uh, it oxidizes. The hot molten puddle wants to get back to a solid as fast as it possibly can. It wants to cool off and get back to a solid. In order to do that, it's going to grab oxygen or whatever it can to cool off. When it grabs the oxygen, it traps it in there as it cools, and you're left with little bubbles. Well, porosity, 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 yeah, yeah. And then it cracks. Obviously, right? So we use a non-flammable gas to shield the weld. No oxygen can get in there, and then you don't oxidize. And and, there, and you're able to control the, the amount of gas that's going through. Right here. But you know, if you if you under gas it, it'll really show on your weld, won't it? Okay. There's no mistake in it. Well, we can try it. You'll have a hell of a time. Well, you won't weld well, without it. Okay, so we're going to drop the collet in. And we'll put the tungsten in. And we put the back end cap on there. This has a little rubber grommet on there. And that needs to be there to prevent the gas from coming out the battery. And you also don't want to allow oxygen in. So, how far do I leave that sticking out, right? Yeah, that's so the trick of it. You want to stick it out one half of the diameter of this opening. Take that distance and let this guy stick out half, half that distance. That's not the golden rule. That's just a starting point. If you want, if you keep accidentally touching your tip to the metal, then you might want to push it in a little farther. And if you're way down in a crack, way down in there, you might want to stick it out a little bit farther. Yeah. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. And you adjust it here. Yeah. So this, you just loosen it, and that will take the pressure off of that little. And this isn't going to get bullet. fly off or anything. Okay. As long as you don't do this. Don't okay. do that. Okay. Don't, don't it drive you nuts that when you're welding that the distance here that is stopping you from seeing your weld? Um, I mean, yeah. that drives me crazy. But then you just get your, put your head down where you can see it. <laughs> right? A lot of people are serious? They're like, I can't see what's going on. I'm like, well, no kidding. You got to look oh. at it. You got to get it right here. I see. You got a hood on. I see. Right? You're not going to hurt yourself unless... Literally, just look at it. So it has to be this design because gas is coming out around here. Right. Has to. Yeah, you have to have that. I see. And they have different. Uh, they have other sizes and shapes of gas cups, but this is just what we have, so this is what we use. So.
Yeah, there's, I mean, this is cracked, but I mean, that's already small. Oh, yeah. Right? And they make even smaller than that. Oh, okay. Any yeah. questions? Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to sharpen this tungsten. Because you're going to be in there grinding your tungsten a lot when you first start out. Yeah, I was good. that was what I was going to ask. Because when I, when I took the other class, it was like they had like a whole buttload of that stuff. And I mean, we're going through it a lot. And I know it's expensive too, tungsten or whatever. But like, I was constantly grinding, grinding, sharpening up my tungsten because, you know, I, I, it all, it balled up on it and everything. Yeah, like, you know, well, so. you'll, you're going to do that again a few times, but I'll teach you a few things where you'll get into a rhythm and you won't have to do it so much. All right, all right. So let's, uh, you have glasses? No, I don't. Got some. Let's go back here. So the tip on that thing is that off. Oh, okay. Oh, right? Well, that doesn't mean to bring in aluminum and grind it on here. That means tungsten only. Oh, I see. Alright. Alright. Okay. So here's the deal. You need to put a tip on this guy so that you can focus the current onto the metal. Okay? So here's what we do. You use this as a rest. Go ahead, dude. Yeah, go ahead. Um, you're going to use this bench as a rest so you got a good stable point to grind. Okay? You're going to come in here and anytime I'm touching the wheel, I'm turning the tungsten. I don't want any flat spots. Okay? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here and touch it and turn it. It gets hot quick, so don't be afraid to cool it off. Okay? I'm going to keep going a little bit longer. Now I got a really sharp point on there, right? And do you want it like about about a, you know three sixteenths from from there? You want it at least the diameter. Oh, okay. Of this, but you can go oh, anywhere from one to six oh, times the oh, diameter. You can really taper it down a super super thin tone. Okay. The thinner it is, the more detailed you can be. Because the thinner it is, the more of a little tiny area you need at the one time. Okay? I don't want that super, super pointy tip on there. I want to come in here and barely knock that off. Just barely. Okay. Okay? I'm going to do the same on this one. TIG mode or stick mode. This is only set up for TIG welding. This isn't set up for an old full stick welder. We're using it on TIG. It'll always be set up in TIG mode. This is your amperage. And how do we figure out how many amps do you use? By the thickness of the metal? Yeah, but, so that, what's that tell us? How do, so how do I figure it out? Oh, I don't know. Measure with a vanilla caliper or something? You don't need to do that. Here's how it works. What gauge metal is this right here? Take a guess. 